Mastering Kitchen Lingo. The fish is overdone. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're diving into the world of culinary expressions, specifically focusing on what it means when someone says, the fish is overdone. Understanding these phrases is not only key to mastering the English language but also helps you navigate dining experiences more fluently. So, let's get cooking on this linguistic journey. The fish is overdone might seem straightforward at first glance, but it's packed with meaning. To overdo something means to cook it beyond the desired level of doneness. When applied to fish, this phrase indicates that the fish has been cooked too long. It's a subtle way of saying the fish might be dry, tough, and less flavorful than intended, which are not qualities you want in a well-prepared dish. Knowing when and how to use this phrase is crucial. It's commonly used in kitchen conversations among chefs or between diners and staff in a restaurant setting. However, it can also pop up in casual conversations about cooking or food experiences. The key here is to understand that it's not just about the fish. This phrase can be applied to any overcooked food, making it a versatile part of your culinary vocabulary. For English language learners, grasping these kinds of phrases is essential for two reasons. First, it enriches your vocabulary with nuanced expressions that native speakers use. Second, it helps you navigate cultural contexts more effectively. Food is a big part of culture, and knowing how to discuss it accurately and sensitively can enhance your social interactions. To really make this phrase part of your active vocabulary, try incorporating it into your daily language practice. Whether you're cooking at home and narrating your process, or discussing a recent meal with friends, find opportunities to use it. Remember, the goal is to be comfortable with both its literal and implied meanings in various contexts. We hope this video has shed some light on the flavorful expression, the fish is overdone, and added a new layer to your English language learning. Remember, language is about more than just words. It's about communicating experiences, and food experiences are some of the richest ones we share. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing to make your English as delicious as your meals.